Welcome to this episode of Real Chemistry. We're going to be talking about kinetic molecular theory, which is a theory that helps us understand the behavior of gases. In another video, I went over the postulates of kinetic molecular theory, which you can check out. I'll link to that below. In this video, we're going to specifically think about the relationship between temperature and kinetic energy, and also actually the velocity and mass of our gases. And that's because kinetic energy has to do with mass and velocity. So we're going to think about all of those things. First, let's just get a feel for what gas molecules are doing at a given temperature. So here we have a graph which tells us on the y-axis we have number of molecules. So that's just thinking about amount. So the higher that peak is, the more molecules there are at a given velocity, which is our x-axis. This whole curve is all for oxygen at 300 Kelvin, about room temperature. And the important thing I want you to get from this is that at a specific temperature, 300 Kelvin in this case, molecules move at a range of speeds. So some of them are moving really fast, 1100 meters per second. Some of them are moving pretty slow, 100 meters per second. And then the bulk of them are moving at around our average speed of maybe 380 or 400 meters per second. So these molecules are moving at different speeds, some fast, some slow. The average kinetic energy is what determines this temperature. So average kinetic energy determines temperature. All right, so next what I wanna think about is what happens as we change that temperature. So here we have a similar figure telling us about the fraction of molecules or number of molecules uh, at different velocities. And what we'll notice is we have a couple different curves. We have one curve, which is this first curve right here, at 100 Kelvin. And then we have this other curve after stuff has been heated up at 1000 Kelvin. What you'll notice is after we warm our molecules, they go faster. So if we started out with a sample of gas at 100 Kelvin, maybe its average velocity is 250 meters per second. As it gets warmer, it's going faster and faster. So higher temperatures, the average speed increases. Okay, what we haven't considered yet is the mass of the molecules. And it turns out that heavier molecules move slower. So again, we have a bunch of molecules all at 300 Kelvin. And we see that this first curve for xenon has the lowest speed. So that speed maybe is just 250 or so meters per second. That's the heaviest molecule. Krypton's lighter than that. Argon's lighter still, and neon's lighter, and helium is the lightest. Helium is the lightest of these gases at just about four grams per mole. And so helium, you can see, has the highest average speed at about 1250 meters per second. So the lighter molecules move faster. The heavy molecules move slower at a given temperature. Now this is kind of like a tractor trailer and a motorcycle being given the same amount of energy, right? Because the temperature is 300 Kelvin, helium and xenon are getting the same amount of energy. So say you give a tractor trailer and a motorcycle a gallon of gas to get to the highest speed they can get to. That motorcycle is gonna to get to a way faster speed because it's lighter. So there's less mass for that gas to accelerate. The 18 wheeler is gonna be going much slower because it has a lot more mass to accelerate. So here we're thinking about two variables, mass and velocity, that are related to kinetic energy. Our last point is that at a given temperature, all molecules have the same kinetic energy. So that's kind of counterintuitive because you look at this chart and they're all moving at different speeds. So you might think helium has the most kinetic energy, but actually all of those have the same kinetic energy. Remember that our kinetic energy equation tells us that Ke is equal to one half mass times velocity squared. So this Ke is our kinetic energy, energy associated with motion. The V is our velocity and the M is our mass. So what we've said so far is that heavier molecules go slower. So for a heavy molecules, we have a big mass and a small velocity. For light molecules, we have a small mass and a big velocity, and those cancel out. So all of these molecules have the same kinetic energy. Okay, those different relationships are important when you're thinking about kinetic molecular theory. Thanks for watching this episode of Real Chemistry. You can ask any questions below or subscribe.